Hey guys, it's Jillian with Fix Your Digestion, and I've been getting a lot of questions from you about what are the best probiotics to take, and so I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about probiotics. The first thing to consider with probiotic supplementation is this. You want whatever probiotic supplement you are going to be taking to have two dominant strains. You want it to have Bifidobacter and Lactobacillus. My preference in most, in, in most individuals is to dose with a fairly high dose, at least 15 to 20 billion CFUs. Those are colony forming units, okay? So we're looking for a product that has fifth, at least 15 to 20 billion CFUs and is primarily lactobacillus and bifidobacter based. Those are sort of the ground rules. Next, we want to look for products that don't have allergens in them, other allergens. A lot of probiotics are grown in either dairy or soy mediums and we want to stay away from that. Okay, so we want to look for a hypoallergenic formula. Now, in people that have really significant gastrointestinal distress, I uh, tolerate probiotics well. I use Zymogen's ProBiomax DF. This is what I use at my clinic for a lot of people. I also use another company called Claire Labs. Um, they also have a really great product, high dose, mostly uh, Bifidobacter and Lactobacillus strains. Now, a lot of people ask, does it matter if it's refrigerated or not? What about the stomach pH and this and this and this and this? So let's talk about that. Um, not all probiotics have to be refrigerated. And there can be good probiotics that don't have to be refrigerated and not so good probiotics that have to be refrigerated. So you don't use that as your, as your guide. Um, the next topic in terms of um, stomach pH is this. We were originally inoculated with beneficial bacteria through our mouth, through what we put in our mouth, through our food, through breast milk, through birth, all of those things. So the vast majority of how we get probiotics into us is what we put in our mouth. So these beneficial bacteria are really well suited to tolerate the low pH of our stomach really well. Um, so <clears throat> you don't need to worry too much about that. So again, just to recap the big themes, you want 15 to 20 billion CFUs. You want those CFUs to be primarily lactobacillus and bifidobacter strains. They may or may not have to be refrigerated, okay? And it doesn't necessarily have to say acid resistant because most bacteria tend to be so. Um, I like this product, but you don't have to use that product. Anyway, I hope this is helpful in answering some questions for you. I'll see you next time.